Do you ever feel exhausted at bedtime, yet your mind keeps solving problems as if it's still daytime? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're exploring why some minds stay awake at night. We'll look at how weaker circadian signals keep your thoughts stuck in day mode, why sequential thinking creates racing loops, and what simple actions help you restore a clear day-night contrast. I'm Alara Skye. The research we're drawing from followed adults with sleep maintenance insomnia and healthy sleepers under controlled conditions. By stripping away bedtime triggers, the investigators measured internal mental rhythms across 24 hours. What emerged was not just worry or habit, it was a measurable timing problem in how your brain organizes thoughts across the day. Insomnia in this context means trouble falling asleep, staying asleep, or returning to sleep after waking. You recognize it when your mind stays structured, analytical, and alert, even as your body feels drained. The study found that people with insomnia showed flatter day-night swings in reality orientation and volitional control. The two areas that normally loosen to let you drift into dreamlike content. That flattening explains the feeling of lying in bed replaying conversations or planning tasks. Instead of letting thoughts become more disconnected before sleep, your brain holds its grip on focused, goal-driven processing. The timing was also off. Peaks in thought structure and perceived control occurred more than six hours later for the insomnia group, delaying the mental quieting you need at night. Another key finding was elevated sequential thinking at night. That's the chain where one idea triggers the next and then another. In healthy sleep, sequential thinking drops as you approach bedtime. In insomnia, the baseline is higher and the drop is smaller, so your mind keeps behaving like it's still solving problems. That loop alone can block the transition to sleep. The practical implication is clear. You aren't just dealing with random worry. You're dealing with weakened circadian amplitude and delayed switching from alert thinking to dreamlike patterns. Strengthening your circadian rhythm helps your brain recognize when to power down. The most accessible lever is light. Bright, natural light early in the day and dim lighting in the evening. Start with 10 to 15 minutes of outdoor light shortly after you wake. This gives your brain a precise daytime signal it can anticipate. At night, dim household lighting and reduce screen brightness or use warm settings. These small changes strengthen the contrast your circadian system relies on, so the mental shift toward rest has a stronger cue. You can also break sequential thinking before bed. A simple tool is cognitive shuffling. Pick a neutral word, then think of unrelated words that begin with each letter. Because the content is simple and non-linear, it gently steers you away from chains of analysis without stimulating you. Add light visualization or intentional breathing to keep attention tethered to sensory experience instead of problem solving. Evening structure matters. Your circadian clock expects predictable signals, so choose one or two cues you repeat nightly. Dim lights, a warm shower, quiet music, or slow stretching serve as environmental prompts that say, it's time to transition. Consistency, not complexity, is what restores the rhythm that separates day mode from night mode thinking. If you tend to wake at 2 a.m. and stay awake, redirect quickly to sensory awareness rather than thoughts. Notice your breath, the weight of your blanket, or the temperature of the room. The goal is to avoid re-entering sequential, goal-directed loops. Staying with neutral sensations keeps cognitive engagement from ramping up again. Daily movement reinforces the same day-night contrast. A review of clinical trials linked yoga, tai chi, and walking with improvements in sleep quality, duration, and efficiency for people with insomnia, with walking showing the greatest reduction in insomnia severity. Moderate intensity walking is repeatable and pairs well with daytime light if you go outside. If long sessions are hard to fit in, split activity into two or three short walks spaced through the day. You're teaching your brain that daytime is active and nighttime is calm. Over time, stronger daytime activity signals and routine evening cues sharpen your internal timing and reduce the mismatch that keeps your mind alert at night. 
Age can add friction, especially for sleep maintenance. As internal signals soften, it becomes easier for your brain to slide into daytime patterns after a nighttime awakening. That's not a dead end. It simply means the daytime light, evening dimming, and consistent cues become even more important, so your brain relearns when to release conscious control. It's also helpful to adjust expectations for how sleep arrives. You're not forcing blankness. You're allowing a shift from structured to softer mental activity. Techniques like cognitive shuffling work because they imitate the looser patterns that appear as you drift off. When you feel yourself chasing a solution, return to simple, unrelated words or gentle imagery and let the chain dissolve. Remember that this is a rhythm problem, not a character flaw. Flatter circadian amplitude means your brain receives a weak power down signal. Every time you step into bright morning light, dim lights after sunset, or follow your evening cue, you're adding power back to that signal. Over days and weeks, your nighttime mental quiet arrives more reliably and earlier. Let's bring it together. Strengthen daylight cues with morning sunlight and movement. Reduce nighttime stimulation by dimming lights and screens. Use cognitive shuffling to interrupt sequential thinking at bedtime. During nighttime awakenings, pivot to breath and sensation instead of analysis. These steps are simple, repeatable, and aligned with the mechanisms identified in the research. Here's today's challenge. Tomorrow morning, get 10 to 15 minutes of outdoor light within an hour of waking. After sunset, dim your home lighting for at least two hours before bed. And tonight, spend five minutes on cognitive shuffling before you lie down. Stick with this for one week and track how quickly your mind releases daytime thinking. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.